Hey, 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 Le Vixon. My name is Gerald Lopez, and I am the Vice President of Taino DNA. And now that I have introduced myself, I wanted to ha have you do the same. Sure. So give us an introduction. I am Le Vixon Learning. Uh, I'm from Haiti. I am the spot director for the Tainos DNA and genealogy. I, I started theology at Hilda Baptist Bible Institute in Haiti, a Bible school founded by some American and Haiti, or the pastor Wild Griffith. After theology, I I like to study medicine, but I don't stay for a lot of year. Um, I did. I keep love the medicine, but uh, after the half crack and all the problem of the country, I I can continue. But I I went to another school of diplomatic science and international relation. Uh, where I study the diplomacy, as you know it, and um, also I did continue the study at College Université de la Romani, a uh, woman university college, where I study the diplomatic science. Good. But now I am a teacher of English and at some university, as LH University and Queensland, University in Haiti. Also, I teach biology and some school at IBJ, um, College of Nedasio, uh, College of Informator, Institution Mix Pialaus in Haiti. Uh, now I'm working on this shared vision to share knowledge, education through the world. I represent now in Haiti the UAMMP, that means. Université Agricole de Management et de Métier de la Production. This is a higher school for production, but I will lead and Haiti as a representative. But I know you will help me as member of the Dynabot to, to keep my goals and to get success on this project. Okay, good. Um, I think it's all. Thank you, Mr. Lindsay. That's a very interesting background. Now, on the subject of the Taino, how would you define the modern um, Taino? I can say for me, the Tainos is a vision. A vision that link us together. These visions put us together to continue a dream. This dream is to share the manner of our farmer Indians, our farmer border our farmer grants parents indians or africans share culture to us or money to us the way we close the way we speak the way we adore our gods are makers tainos this culture this manner this visions this dream that put us together i do believe in this this is the dream, this is the visions of Tainos, true, our manner, true, our visions, true, our culture. For me, the Tainos is a spirit of the Asian to put us together. For me, the Tainos is the love of gathering. That's for me, the Tainos. Um, this dream or this love continue to make us to look for our DNA. And with the the steps of DNA, we will continue to build our Taino links that someone or some people believe that's where and stay. The Taino are still alive and will share the the proof to the world that we are there and we're still alive and will continue to progress. The Tainos are there and the Tainos are real. And as I was invited by my friend, Dr. Morales, uh, he, has, he has done his test, he is Taino. And I do believe there are lots of Taino presence. And we'll continue to share this, this love. We'll continue 
to shell a spirit. For me, Tainos is a spirit. Mr. Lundi, thank you very together. much for this explanation. As you know, I'm also personally connected with your testimony on the Taino because I am from the other side of the island, the Dominican Republic, and we both have the same heritage of the Tainos on the island. Now, my other question is, what is or how would you define the Good. UAM? The University of Agriculture Management of Vocation of Production was founded in 2013 by Kenya Norton, Julia, and Cameroon, Africa. But in French, the symbol and um, URMMP means University Agricole de Management de Métier de la Production. This university is registered at the Ministry of Higher Education. It is made up of three main faculties. There are IUMP, CSAMMP, and EWSEJRS. Uh, the three and the three main faculty, and also it is planning to create an open uh, faculty of medicine and community health. It has three research program. There are program about the uh, the PTAC has P and the P Pro and the PCRI part. I just <laughs> I just say that's right, but I can I, I will not have su sufficient time to explain. We also improve in entrepreneurship and leadership. Our, I can say entrepreneurship uh, leadership are one of our main challenges. You say I see wrong because entrepreneurship leadership. A leader is an entrepreneur. An entrepreneur is a leader. For me, that are the same things. Great. There is a project to establish in Haiti also that I am the official representative and the leader and trying to implement the project. We're entirely involved in BR and BMD, that means Bachelor, Master and Doctorate. In French, that's a LM, LMD, License master and doctorate system. We have been authorized in more than 30 uh, areas of study. All this information can be obtained from our website. The website is the three w u a m m p dot org. This I can repeat it three w u a m m p dot org. That's our website. You can make a verification of all this information from the headquarters in Cameroon. Good. Now, Thank you. what motivated you to start up the UAMMP? <laughs> Great. Motivation. The philosophy of the university motivated me. Do you want to know the philosophy? <laughs> the philosophy is... Run starting one enterprise jobs opportunities. I strongly believe that only education can transform lives, bring chance, and produce progress and impulse real development of our nation. That's been Haiti for me. The poverty and the misery in Haiti are the absence of a professionalized system of education. When I see the offer of UAMMP, I discovered that it was a great opportunity, not only for Haiti, but also for the Caribbean. But I know the Caribbean has great university house in my neighbor country. The Dominican Republic is a country full with great university. The Catholica University, I, I know, um, Santo Domingo. It's also, for me, I can, I can consider for me, it's also a Bill and Grace school. 
But what really fascinated me was the research program. Because the team and the project of researchers are close to our basic needs and very innovative. You know the basic needs of patients. Culture, culture, culture. Mm -hmm. And as I say, the time and the project of research is close to our basic needs and very innovative. It is an exceeded project that changed your visions for life. I can say that changed my visions for life and for any um, moral transparency and good governance because for me those are some values we have to share between us to share and a team it's very important ethic moral transparency and also good governance when i say good governance that's mean good leadership and the the serenity and the assurance that i have we can further me and founded my motivation yeah, the serenity and the assurance confronted me yeah mm -hmm. as time goes i am more and more engaged there are so many opportunities for all and there are many opportunities to take to change a country i thank the university you are AMB is opportunities for me to create job and to educate students and where they can they can find a way somewhere to study and study good knowledge quality knowledge I choose to accompany me some friends on the Taino DL and genealogy I have with me Dr. Kalalin Melendez and she promised, I believe she will be with me. Dr. Juan Morales, that believe in my dream, they will help me to get success to the train cause my bigger dream is to eliminate in my country, Haiti, the poverty, the poverty. I hate the poverty. I hate the misery. And I'm still work hard to eliminate poverty and misery in my country. I right, thank you, Alexander. It's a very good and very interesting question. That's all motivated me. I thank you. Thank you, Mr. Lund. This is a very heartfelt explanation. I feel that you're very, very connected to the purpose and the founding reasons. Now, my next question on a very similar note is, can you define the F-I-N-B-R-C-L? <laughs> F-I-N-B-R-C-L. EL, the Finn's Bell. Um, what is the Finn Bells? The Finn's Bell is the uh, the abro abbreviation of in French Federation Internationale de Mbibritne e des Poloco. In English, I can say this I F and BLS, that's International Federation of Ngrebitni and Local Sports. I think the Finsbell is the unique international governing board of Ngrebitni and Local Sports. Also, traditional games and sports in the world. Okay? That means the Ngrebetne is a part, is a sport, sorry, is a sport from Africa. As African, we believe we have our culture difference of the right culture. I'm not a racist, I feel the right culture is an ethnology just to make a distinguish. And we come to the Ngrebetne has a local language. The Ngrebetne is a, also a philosophy of spirit, of love, of harmony, we connect her. I, I don't say it's a Taoist 
is a symbol of of peace, but the umgrabatni is a harmonization with your body and your spirit with the nature. Is a art, sorry, is a martial art. The umgrabatni is a martial art, as I'm saying. And I think so. The umgrabatni is entirely involved in sport international and Olympic movement. It is represented on the five continents through its confederation in America. I am the incumbent president of the Combeslag, which means the Combeslag in French, the Combeslag means Confédération des Ungobitne et des Sports Locaux de l'Amérique et de la Caraïbe. Uh, okay, good. But for me, Finn's Bell also provides expertise to all of his members through his program. Finn's Bell also appoints international trainers. Finn's Bell organized the Universal Games. It is at Squatter. You know, rise at Squatter is at Yaoundé in Cameroon, a beautiful country, Cameroon, the country of cool black <laughs> cool black i love cool black cool black is a actor he's a cameroonian a man i i love he's also uh he has a the youtube channel um business comedy club from cameroon i love to watch cool black series good those are from a fins bell first boss is a national um a martial training from Africans, we have our federation and we fight to prove as black, we can do great thing in the world. This is the only, as I say in the beginning, this is the unique African federation in the world, the Finns mm -hmm. Thank mm -hmm. you. Bro. Now, a combination of the questions, what role do you think Finns and the WAMP UA MMP. What role do you think they have in helping the okay, title? Okay, great. But world, world, world. What I think. Uh, as Hill said, education, training, science, culture, and technologies are essential for people. We need progress and development. To overcome the fight against poverty and misery, amongst the Taino in Haiti, we need to impulse education and professional. But you know the Taino, the goals are education. Because the Taino is a corporation based on education. Okay, that's mean. Taino in Haiti will impulse the education and professional training. But now, what's our first need? I think agronomy will want us our first challenge. On the other, we need to reveal our culture and to share our values with Africa and the rest of the world and to know better with the Caribbean. We have the CARICOM. The CARICOM is a good organization in the Caribbean, but the CARICOM doesn't put us together. I think with the Taino will be run in the Caribbean. But to continue the question, for all this challenge, URMP and Finn Bells will be of a great or a great sorry will be of a great utility to the Taino DNA and genealogy. The university in Haiti can become a reference center in the Caribbean. I do believe that. 
Um, there's two international organization that's mean the university and the titles will be very important to our community through their international network Chino DNA and genealogy will speak to the world what it does with the university and what it does in the world to look for the DNA of the Taino and the Caribbean and the rest of the world. I do believe it's a good project and by love we will success on this project. Um, <laughs> I like the creation. I don't Thank believe you, this. Okay, great. Now, Mr. Lendy, from your vast knowledge in IT, would you say there is a Yucayeke in IT? Is there basically Yucayeke is a tribal community? And if there isn't is one, there a then in IT? do you think that there will be one in the future? Good. You asked me a very beautiful question. In my knowledge, there is no Yucayeke in Haiti. Maybe we will build one. This is one of our dream of Dr. Morales for Haiti to have a Yukaike in Haiti. Yukaike means for us one Taino's village. But as we know in history, if you follow or uh, if you are doing some searches in Haiti, you will see Haitian likes Taino. We love very Taino. You there there are many persons we give who gives the business names of Taino. They are a beach ta village, village of beach Tainos village at Leogan. They are aqua, aqua fresh, fem aqua, aqua fresh Taino. There are some business name in Haiti. They are hotel Taino, college Taino, STG Taino in Haiti. They love the times and the red Tainos come. Because we respect ancestor as Haitian. We have a love for ancestor in Haiti. And as I'm saying, we know Haiti and the Republic Dominican are one for the Tainos. Because this land were, was divided in five crossica. The Zaragra, the Marien, the Maguana the Magra and the Igre. In the earth size, Haiti, now, we have two Karsika, the Marien and the Zagra. That means the Marien and the Charagra. And there are three Karsika in the Republic Dominican, Maguana, Magra, and the Igre. And, but I don't really know the classic and for the Magra and Maguana and Igre, but I remember the classic of the Marien, Kaunabo. is very famous in Haiti and our story also. Also the Zawagra. The Zawagra was led by Boekyo, the big border of Anakaona. Anakaona, the golden flower, is saying in our story, Amerindian, as Tainos, Queen, Anakaona. And Kaona was the spouse of Kaunabo. Kaunabo was the classic of the Marian. Kaunabo was the one who met Christoph Colon in 1902 uh, when Christoph Colon uh, came to discover Haiti and to fight the Indians. And he met uh, Kaunabo. And after he left the 40 Spanish and the forts, but the queen Anakaona counseled to his spouse, to his husband, sorry, that the Spanish are have, have other dream. The other dream that have the Spanish is to conquer the Iceland to take all the gold. Anakaona has a gold, knows the spirit of the Spanish, and Anakaona was right and we know the rest of the story but there is no yukaike in haiti but the possible yukaike 
will be soon in Haiti because has we project to build in Haiti a village, a Tainos village. Uh, we will um, also believe uh, belong to the Tainos Council for all the Caribbean and the America, South America and North America, where we can find all the DNA, Tainos DNA, because as I'm saying here, their Tainos blood are still alive. We are not extinct. We are present. We are still alive. We always share our culture. We always share our dream. And when we will, we live again. We will print to the world. We are there as titles to point them our culture. And as we know, to play some peloto, the pelot. The pelot is the game. Now the European follow the Amerindian. When I say the Amerindian, the Tainos play the pilot, and then they come to the Spain with the pilot and they call the pilot, you see, pelota, pied, pelota, pied humain. Que l'on jouait le Tainos, et ils ont appelé ça football, foot, pied, balle, balle au pied, pelota, là, pelota, balle au pied humain qu'on jouait avec le Tainos, qu'on lançait dans un... C'est un jeu, le Tainos, c'est un jeu amérindien. Excuse-moi si je parle un peu français. That's a Tainos game. That's a amérindien game. That's the Europeans copy on Earth. The pelota was give today the footballs. And yes, we project and I think to the university, this project can be real. This project will realize. And as I say, there are a lot of Tainos projects in Haiti. There are our gallery in Haiti. We have a lot of artifacts in Haiti, but the government promised us if we cooperate, with, if we can give us good people, we can have in Haiti our own museum with Tainos artifact given by the FBI. And we believe if we work hard, we will realize the dream to have in Haiti, the Tainos village and belong to the Tainos Council. That will be a very great dream. Her. Great, thank you. It's a long question. This question is a story question. Now, thank you, could you please share with the audience the plans for Taino DNA and genealogy in IT. Wonderful question. Wonderful question. I remember I received a letter from Dr. Morales. Um this letter I can read. We at Taino DNA and genealogy are color blind, meaning the color of your sky does not determine your relationship to the Taino nation. Unfortunately, this idea is not common amongst others in the Caribbean. We have noted that the Asian population that has not received the same amount of research and the rest has the rights of the Caribbean. Puerto, Puerto Rico, Jamaica, and Cuba. I am sure there are people in Haiti who would like to find out how to connect to the China nation. We are looking to re-establish the descendants of the Tainos and hope to help them organize her tribal community and seat refers on our future council. The response of the creation is there. That means we plan to establish the descendants of the Taino and hope to help them to organize a tribal community and to sit to our future council. That means to establish in Haiti a 
village and also to the university with such an with such an biology, with such a knowledge, with such a genealogy can help us to develop more knowledge. And I think the plan is to establish in Haiti a village, a UKIK, and to determine we the titles in Haiti. This is our plan for Haiti. Thank you, Mr. Lindley. Now, shifting the gears just a little bit away from the DNA and into the religious, many people assume that Vodun is only African, right? What are your thoughts on this? Are there any practices in Vodou, in IT, that could be tied to the Tainos, for example, Zemis and, uh, and that? Good. It's a wonderful question. As we know, um, scientifically, the Verdu is the amateur or the woods of every human society. Every human society as the Verdu has amateur, has woods. It is not different from Africa. It is not also different for the Tainos or the Amerindian. Or the Amerindian. The word like knowledge is, is very trouble, is very non understanding. In the United States, the misunderstanding the voodoo in Africa. The misunderstanding the voodoo in Haiti. The misunderstanding the voodoo also. Cause the voodoo is not a religion. The voodoo is more stronger than the religion is inner his spirit but if we doing science what is inner what is spirit is religions we can say it is a religions also okay that the terrorists i'm not against um the fruit was born in africa in the town of ife the town of Ife in Haiti also we have also a town who has the same name La Ville Ifa qui se trouve au Cap Haïtien c'est ce qu'on appelle la ville au camp this is a local where we can say the voodoo as taking birth also but and the structure, the practice can be various. And when I'm making some syncretis inspiration, when I'm follow the way the Indians, the Tainos, adore the Zemis or the Zemers, I related some resemblance as African. And I'm saying either myself, African and Indians are one in culture. Because when I studied the pre-Columbian history and the 12th cycle, before Christoph Columbus arrived in America, and the Tainos living in the walls, the Caribbean, we know. And the roots of Indians, Tainos, we know, is very confused by 
marked by tradition, by language from the Arawak. But in making a deep analyze about symbolism and methodology, we observe and with surprise there are some connection with some Maya Yucatan the Mexique of Mexico, Guatemala, and other Caribbean locals. Those peoples live from agriculture. This is why I love the URMP, because this is the University of Agriculture. Okay? They are living from agriculture, so from fishing, and from playing, from love. I say from, you know the word from, they. That means that's sculpture. Direct to seed, to make garden. What they call the canoe cross. The cool, um, the mix also the culture of potatoes, of maize, what we call corns, of colbachon, of ananas, of sweet potatoes, of tobacco, etc. And they have various manner the Chinos to live has the dance, the sing, the music and the games, the pelota, the pelot, and the ritual, the cult. And the cult and the ritual, the dance. That's when they sing the coldest the haraters. I don't know if you mean what I'm saying. Because when they sing the haritos, it's accompanying with divine inspirations, with divine instruments. In Haiti and the Voodoo, what is the divine instrument? This is the red, I don't know the red, the drum in English, the drum. But in French is the tambou. In Creole, the petit tambou. The petit tambou sonne. Tout mon aguine levé dansé. That's the tambou. The tambou, his father Asian culture, is very sacred. That's also for the Chinos. The drum are very sacred. Because with the drum, the sing, with the drum, the move. And I think so, the religions of the Tainos is centered under the cult of Zemis or Semis, because they represented for them their gods, their spirit, or the ancestor. This is also the names of some representations, physical or spiritual of the gods. But we do the same in the Purdue. We have we make some sacrifice from Catholic Church and we take some things so Catholic call some some figures, some image, they say those persons are saints and we add them. But also in the Vodou they do this. But that's incredible and and i can say the creation is very complicated because you're talking about religions from the Indians and from the africans it's a very hard question to do this to talk about the chinos religions to talk about the the vodus the africans religions and to make a synchronization to say they are the same when you go to a one through, what you will find, you will find some object inside the one through. What that's the unga used to call those the spirits or the loa with his um with his the thing is 
he shakes clutch and i do i don't remember the name cha cha girls okay but the indians does the same or the indian do the same that's mean we are connected by culture we are connected by ancestor we are all brother the cultures the culture say we are one but the color say we are different but what will say the education what will say the spirit the spirit will reconnect us this is what we are doing not i think yes some artifact of kainos are saving from secret object in voodoo and someone for in haiti and you know what happens but i haven't repeated the story from this american pastor that stole some artifact to go to the united states and the fbi wrote us back to haiti those artifacts sacred from the Tainos. the project is to build in haiti a museum of Tainos where we can expose those artifacts and also so i have reference and her name is elizabeth she said to me she has one uncle who has a gallery Tainos, Haiti at Thomas 75, Thomas 25. And when Dr. Wamalas will be in Haiti, we'll visit the gallery to see if the the uh, the the boards or the I, I don't see the words are well it from Tainos and are are oh I can say in French I will say sont origines, ces tableaux sont originaux. Si ces tableaux sont originaux, are originals. But I do believe, yes, they are syncretism, they are run by culture and by this, we can set us together. And think... <laughs> As you know, I'm also connected with you uh, on this, with the family and the Vodun on the island as well. So I have one surprise question for you. What have you witnessed as far as certain towns in IT that perhaps have this Taino Vodun concentrated? Is there any town maybe specific that or city or place that has a stronger uh, re remnants in their practices? Like I have, for example, some of the Societe in... Uh, in Cap IC and have certain traditions, right? Some of the societes in Jacmel have certain traditions in Vodun. So is there a town where there is a societe that is more concentrated on the Arawak? Hey, it's a very good question. An interesting question. Yes. I can say yes. I can say no to because I'm not sure. Because I'm scientific, scientifically, I don't do any tests and I cannot certify. But in Haiti, there is a town naming Mont Blanc or Fond des Blanc. At Fond des Blanc, there are a lot of people who got the same hair like Indians, the same color like Indians. If you see a girl or a boy from Fond des Blanc, in Haiti, does seem like Indians, but some Asians say so. Those persons are, who are at Fond de Blanc, they are Asian, but they don't like look like Asian. They are not black. They don't got gray, gray black hair. They got her sorry hair. It's made in French, cheveux zero, and long hair beautiful like indians guys or girls they are beautiful older or young they are all beautiful like indians they live at fond de blanc they can be very good to be indians also there is a woman this woman writes a book from the tainos of haiti is she is a rich i can say she's a rich woman madame Canes Ogis. Madame Canes Ogis writes the book. 
She seemed to be a Tainos also, Madame Callas Ogles. She is the owner of uh, Valley Callas and also Hotel Montana. She can be also a Tainos. She seems, she looks like a Tainos. But earth with, if you do anagram, I don't know if you study anagram at an ethnology faculty, when you do the anagram, when you look the people through his appearance, her, her, uh, I can say his toners, his bones, or uh, his color is, you, your eyes can give you the the way the person looks like. You can see the person is uh, belong to this to such race. I think, but by this appearance, I can say Madame Canes Auguste. She's alive. She has 100. I think she has 103 years. Yeah, I don't believe she has 103 years old. She's the owner of Hotel Montana and Valley Yucanos. She's very rich and she can be a Tainos. Maybe she, she has son and daughter can be also Tainos. And we have a lot of, we, you know, in Haiti, we have the Milat and the Milat there's and make sound with people of color, maybe they can consider and have the DNA, the DNA blood. Maybe I say maybe, but I don't take any test. I cannot certify it, but I believe also at, I, I give you one talent. I will give you another talent. Uh, it's Leogan, at Leogan. At Leogan, you can find people. Maybe they are like Tainos, but you know, it is a poor country. It's not a developed country. And the downtown ones, a lot of owls looks like Tainos owls and the ocean time. I think yes and no, your question can be response. A terse will verify this assertion. I thank you, Alexander, for this question. It's a very and wonderful question. I do appreciate this question. The questions will uh, introduce us to our search and Haiti and makes our work possible. Thank, Thank you, you very much, Le Big Lundi. This has been a very, very informative interview. And especially in this last answer, I could definitely feel and you took me on a journey, you took all of us on a journey with your answers. Thank you very much. Thank on you, behalf of Alexander. That was a great pleasure for me to answer those question from the titles, the RNA and TAR and genealogy. I think Haiti is very interesting to know the titles are not extant, the titles are still alive, and Haiti has the Zagra, has the Maya, has also the right to take part to the Tainos Council and to have a Ukaike. The same for the Dominican Republic, our brother and sister from Santo Domingo or the Dominican Republic. Uh, I'm very happy you, you uh, Dominicans, are the VP of the Tainos board. I'm very happy. Congratulations. Um, I think we will see and we will talk. And I am welcome to the great family of Taino Council and all the Caribbeans and the America. Thank you, brother. And I say hi to the great family. Hi to the Tainos member. I thank you and stay connected to the spirit of our ancestor. Taita Gray, I love you.